John, well done. How important was that victory? They're all important, aren't they? Every game's important. Um, I've got to start by saying what an outstanding support we had today. Um, at the end there, the, the noise was echoing around the, the stadium and it's, it's a joy to be a part of. Um, you know, we've been to Carlisle and won, been to Grimsby and won, we've come to Walsall who were in League One last season and won. So I'm probably annoyed with myself that I've, I've only got the team to this point now. Uh, I wanted to get them to this point sooner and I'm not saying that we're going to go on and win every game just because we've won this afternoon. But there's a definite change in energy probably since the Cambridge game. Um, where we performed well in the first half and then by the end of the game we were lower than a snake's belly. So we hit rock bottom and we're, we're bouncing slowly up the table. Um, but, you know, there's little things that go for you. you the rubber, the green in the game, Conrad makes an excellent save and then we go straight up the other end and make it 2-1. Um, we were disappointed with the goal that we conceded late in the first half. Um, we spoke about it at half-time. And then in the second half, they have an opportunity to put the ball in the box. And Matty Preston puts everything in the way of it to get his head on the, on the end of it. And that's what it takes. You know, bodies on the line at times, especially in the first half, we controlled the game. Um, and it was another sucker punch, you know, to concede. But I thought the players were excellent today. And, and that was probably matched by the supporters. Yeah, on the whole, and ultimately, you were on the right side of small margins today, weren't you? Yeah, and you know, there's been times when we've been on the wrong side of them. So you embrace it, you take it. Um, I think Daryl's another um, young manager who I think has got a bright future. You, you know, he's a more experienced than myself, um, and he's had a lot of success already. Uh, somebody that I really respect in the game, and I think Walsall are probably in a transition at the minute. And I, I read his press during the week, and he was quite critical of his players. And it sounds like. Um, they're in a bit of a transition and he's trying to change things that obviously weren't right with, you know, what's all going down last season, the, 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 there must have been something wrong. So um, we wish him well. He's a Mansfield lad, uh, a, a good lad, and I'm sure they'll pick up over the, uh, over the forthcoming weeks. What did you make of the two goals for Mansfield? The first, uh, a beautiful hanging cross from Otis Khan. I thought Otis was unplayable today. You know, the way he was running down the left wing, chopping inside, taking it down the left wing and, and putting it in with his weaker foot. It was uh, a magnificent ball and it's uh, bread and butter for Cookie. That's what he feeds off. Uh, and I was pleased with Cookie today as well because when you return to your former club, it can be difficult and you can be a little bit too motivated. And um, I thought he handled himself well today. I'm sure he enjoyed the celebrations when he scored. He got a little bit of stick, um, but the best way to, to answer critics is scoring goals and winning football matches. And that's what Cookie's done today and that's what the team's done. And what about the second? Um, I think that's the first goal Mac has scored. I don't even think he scored for his school team. Um, <laughs> no, he doesn't score a great deal of goals, Maka, uh, but what he does bring is energy and enthusiasm uh, and communication skills. Um, and he, he, he gets his, his, his team organised and he's a real live wire. So for him to pop up with a winner today was fully deserved, not just from his performance today, but probably his performances from the start of the season. I'm sure you'd like to pay credit to Conrad Logan as well at the other end because he pulled off a a few terrific saves, didn't he? Crucial saves. He did in, in the first and second half. Um, I thought his distribution was excellent today. It has been for the last few games. Um, another you know, big character in the dressing room, a real winner on a daily basis. So to see him pull off the save, uh, you know, that's why he's between the six to do. And then for us to break and counter and, and go flying up the other end and score a goal with Maka getting on the end of it um, was magnificent. Um, I'm starting to get a little bit more used to the job in terms of the highs and lows. I'm, I'm trying not to get too high when we win and I'm, I'm definitely trying not to get as low as I've been when we lose. Um, but, you know, that comes with experience and um, although we'll enjoy tonight, our focus now will be on Colchester next week. Just a final couple of questions from me on this 2-1 victory here, John. Uh, how encouraged were you? after you got the second goal, by the way you managed the contest until the very last whistle? Yeah, I was pleased. You know, we've got some excellent players. You look at our bench today, you know, we've got um, four young players with outstanding talent in um, Ali, Jimmy 
um, Willem and Dapo, who's on loan from West Ham. But then you've got, you know, unbelievable experience in Bobby and uh, Prezi. Um, and, and of course, CJ, who was in Team of the Year last year, who's struggled a little bit with his form of late, but needs people around him. And he's still got a massive part to play. And when you can bring players like that off the bench uh, and the group, still manage the game that you, the way you want um, it, it's very pleasing and, and that's what it takes it's not just the pretty controlling football that we played in the first half maintaining possession but it's also putting your body on the line like Prezi did um, the ugly side of the game I call it managing the game um, getting the ball in the right areas winning free kicks high which Nicky Maynard did today um, and I thought he, he looked fit as a fiddle today Nicky um, Maka shouted over that he was getting cramped, but I misheard him. It was actually Cookie that was getting cramped. So, Nicky's not um, best of friends with me right now. <laughs> but um, no, it was great, great performance, brilliant result, and uh, we move on to Saturday. I thought he looked a bit perturbed after after coming off. Yeah, uh, so slightly, yeah. <laughs> what about one player who there may be genuine concern for Christian Pierce? He had to come off in the second half, John. Yeah, typical Chief, he wanted to play on, uh, but there was a, a, a slight pop on his groin and he, he, you could see he was carrying it when he was running and getting on the ball. So we've taken him off and we'll, we'll assess him over the, the, the weekend and hopefully it's not too serious, but um, I haven't had an update from the medical team since the game's finished. Very finally, I started with a similar question. I'll, I'll end the interview with this. How significant was this victory today, John? Like I say, I'm, I would, I'm not going to get carried away. It's it's a win away from home. We've had some good wins away from home. We want to back these wins up, um, in particular at home, because our home form hasn't been good enough this season. I think it was credit again to the supporters on Tuesday night when they clapped us off after the Salford uh, performance because we performed well. Um, but you know, I, I trust these players. I believe in them, and I think over a period of time, the teams above us will start checking their shoulder. Uh, and and it's, from my experience, it's definitely a marathon, not a sprint. Uh, and I've got full confidence in these players. Thank you. Thank you.